friends, I have another journal for you. Actually, I have two. This is a custom order set for Cheryl. And I have this large owl one. I also have a smaller nine by six writing journal that is bird themed. And this one I constructed the cover. It is a slightly um, curved spine, but I didn't make it super sturdy. So you could sort of push it and flatten it out if you wanted to make it really chunky, but it is a curved, it looks nice on the shelf, cross stitch there. And this pretty corrugated butterfly patterned cardstock. There's a vintage owl, it's beautiful back. So, so there is this baker's twine with a little bit of a silver cord through it, holding it shut. There we go. And I left, I used cereal boxes to construct this, and I left this um, cardboard here to give it a really rustic look. It was super clean and super um, just texture. I don't know, I really liked it. So here I have this little writing spot to put you know maybe who it belongs to address phone number and then that tucks right in there and then on this side i have this owl on a tree and a tuck spot and i put an october calendar in there it's one of those perpetual calendars of course you can switch that out with something else here's a pocket with another little vintage owl and then there is a green dyed um index card in this giant fern tag that I made and I did stitching all along the veins in the leaf there. There is coffee dyed paper. There's like I think about 144 pages in here. Here's some woodland washi. Some green paper. This is a 1940s math page. Here's a owl in a it's a gnome book, book about gnomes and there's an owl there. Here's a little pocket I made that says something small. And then there's this corrugated tag with a vintage owl. Some coffee dyed ledger paper. And I made this little file folder template, a double pocket. So here's pocket one and then the owl is holding pocket two right there. journaling card <laughs> pocket for photos I know she takes photography this is parchment or not parchment paper this is sketchbook paper so this is a sketchbook paper and when I coffee dyed it the pan transfer kind of made it black in places so I thought that was pretty cool some stamping and washi stamping this is great for a date here's a little tuck spot with a tag there, some journaling cards, some more journaling cards, stamping. Here is another corner pocket with an owl. These owl tiles, these square owl, owl tiles are from Digital Collage Club. There's a little paper ribbon there. And this says it's all perspective. And this is from a vintage Mother Goose book. And this is the boy in the barn. A little boy went into a barn and lay down on some hay. An owl came out and flew about and the little boy ran away. So I thought that worked well and a little journaling spot in an owl up here. My baby's pulling the paper out from under me. Here's a kid's book that had an owl and a little boy. This is, I think it's Japanese paper. The transfer effect on this green paper was really cool. And I was, you can see the index card transfer on this as well, because I was also dying index cards. So I thought that was cool. There's an owl stamp down at the bottom. Here's a giant card I made. Lots of journaling there. A little vintage owl head there and a button tag tucked in the back. This is a tag with a little tuck spot with one of my little coffee dyed tags that is folded and 
slipped in there. And this is an arrow clip. Some coffee dyed, coffee dyed crossword puzzle. Collage. Some more journaling cards. Tag. Lots of owls. And this says, if you're lucky enough to be different, never change. There's, if you can see, two cute little owls I found in a bird book. And then this flips open for journaling. <laughs> Oliver Oglethorpe and something about an owl, so I thought that was cool. Here is an envelope with some stamping, and there is an index card with some stamping in there. And then this little fern tag that I made. More Mother Goose. There's a tag with a feather stamp. This says, the best day ever journaling card. Look at these beautiful owls I found in this bird book. I just had to include that. And this is together, and there's two owls. Journey. I love this owl from the graphics fairy. He's wearing the hat, and then there's a little journaling paper in here. If I can't get it out. Little journaling paper. Some tag stamps so you can put dates. And this is like a burlap tag, and there's some owls stitched on there. An owl pocket I made with a glittered gold tag. More stamping. Another owl. This is a journaling spot with a little cute owl sticker. I, these are um, reprints of vintage like ledgers and things. Here's a stamp I made, and this tree image is from Calico Collage. A stamp I made, a tag I made. <laughs> More of that beautiful owl paper. A cute little pocket with some owls. And in the back, there is a library card that I did some stitching on, and then a little feather stamp. So that is the first one, and then the second one is bird themed. And it's a 9 by 6 writing, and it's very simple. Here's a vintage bird on here that's stitched on. I love this paper and this, this um, seam binding tie. There's a really pretty flower on the back. She's going to be writing in it, so I definitely left lots of room for that. And she is a photographer. So I added a couple of her pictures throughout as like pockets or journaling cards or things like that. I love this Martha Stewart paper really pretty and I printed out a whole bunch of um, vintage from like the late 1800s I think mid to late 1800s all these birds and bird nests that are throughout here so in here we have some tsunami rose journaling cards and we have um, recipes for feeding specific wild birds and this is for the sparrow and the starling that's from a book I have this is another one of her photos and I backed it with some paper Morning Dove, White Winged Dove. This is from a vintage bird and animal book. Here's a little journaling card I stitched together. And this is one of her photos. And I turned it into a pocket. And there's a journaling spot here. And then this Tim Holtz Enjoy. There are two little tags in there. This one has a little red bird. And then this one is just a little coffee dyed tag right there. And on this stamp, I added one of these digital collage club birds and another one of these nests that I printed off there. Another one of her photos, and I stitched along the mountains and the hills and the land, and then I added this little uh, frame tuck spot there. And then this little mini book, it has a little bird and some pages in there so a mini book within a book some stamping and punching the Wilson War Warbler and the American Red Start here's another nest print these are some um, 
like nature poems and things. And this is a vintage typewriting book. Here's a little sewn envelope I made. A pocket. This is from Bridget Marsh. Um, left over from one of the design projects I did in a previous video. And some tags and journaling spots that I made. This is also from Bridget Marsh. And I made a giant wood grained tag to slip in that pocket. And this is her, uh, her dog. So I put some a doily behind him there and put her on her or him on there. Really cute. A little tag I made clipped on there. More bird paper. And here's a bird card with a Tim Holtz bird. And here's a circular tag I made that I dyed green. I punched a little flower hole and then I added a little cluster right there. And a stamp up there. Here is some more journaling. Um, there is a book page about house plants. And then this, um, I'm not sure where I got that from. I found it in my stash. But it's like a gardening plants outdoors journaling card that I thought kind of went with the theme. Oh, the baby bonked his head, so sorry about that. Here's a little wood green pocket and a journaling spot. This is one of her photos, and I stitched around it and added a uh, paint chip for par um, prairie sage, frosted green grape, and always avocado, and then some journaling papers. Another little tag I made. And then I added this card here, and this is photograph, and I put a couple extra of her photographs in here. says never doubt your instinct another one of those birds in nests and then there's a little library card that I think I got this from Sherry it was in some happy mail so I'm not really sure where it's from but I thought that fit perfectly in here and I just love how this one turned out it's honestly one of my favorites because it's so beautiful and so simple and just full of birds, and I love birds. So I hope that you enjoy both these journals. Cheryl, it was a pleasure making them for you.